Hey everyone, it's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube Eli Fishman Sports. Back with another interview. Today I'm happy to be joined by former third baseman for the Chicago Cubs, Josh Vitters. Josh, thanks for joining me. Thanks a lot, Eli. Pleasure to have you coming on. In high school, you were an All-American and California's Baseball Player of the Year. Can you tell me about what it was like to get this attention thanks to your great play? Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty amazing, man. I mean, it was really good. At the, there was usually always a lot of talent in Southern California, especially that year. There was a lot of great talent, a lot of good guys that are playing in the big leagues and doing really well now. So it's really it was really an honor to, to get that honor and to uh, just kind of have that that little trophy for my family and stuff was really nice. Thanks to your extreme success in high school, it led you to be taken third overall by the Chicago Cubs in the 2007 Major League Baseball draft. Can you tell me about what it was like to hear your name called and so early? Yeah, it was it was a surreal experience. I mean, it was just the start of a dream come true for me. I mean, getting to do what I love for a living, and uh, thankfully I'm still out here playing the game. So, I mean, it's been, it's been a hell of a ride, and... Uh, I've loved, it. I've loved every minute of it. In 2009, Jishwal and A-Ball, thanks to your extreme performance yet again, the Chicago Cubs selected you to play in the All-Star Futures game at Bush Stadium, a pretty big event for any prospect. Can you tell me what it was like to play at this big league stadium in this game that featured the best, the best prospects in the world? Uh, it was great, man. I mean, it was the first time I'd ever been to Bush Stadium. It was really cool, uh, really cool place, awesome locker rooms, and... Uh, it was cool to get that, that taste of the big leagues and kind of uh, see what the lifestyle was like in the backgrounds and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was really fun. It's an experience I'll never forget. Just a few months later, on August 5th, you were called up to the majors and made your MLB, MLB debut as a pinch hitter just that day. What was it like to know that you made it to the show and get that call? Yeah, it was, it was just really amazing. I mean, it was just something that I've been thinking about since I was a little kid and uh, just to actually get that experience it was really surreal but I mean I I felt like I really belonged there and uh, it was it was amazing it was at Dodger Stadium too so it was great my family got to attend and uh, it was really really fun memory just the next day you got your first career major league baseball hit but the next week you hit a three-run shot off of the Brewers Mark Rogers for your first career home run can you tell me about what was going through your mind circling the bases for your first career home run yeah I mean it was it was crazy because Mark was a guy that I had faced in the minor leagues coming up too so uh we both kind of knew each other a little bit so it was like it was like a, a competition. We were competitive against each other during the season, so it was something we'd done before, but at a completely different stage. So it was, it was interesting and fun. I think he got me out the first at bat, and then I got him second at bat, and it was, it was great, man. Since you played in the majors, you got to face some of the best pitchers in the world. Guys like Aroldis Chapman, Dallas Keuchel, Madison Bumgarner, Adam Wainwright, and countless more amazing pitchers. Who was the coolest to face and the hardest? Um, I'd say uh, Araldus Chapman is probably the coolest to face just because uh, he had so much attention surrounding his fastball, being the hardest fastball I've ever thrown. And uh, remember I pinch hit against him a couple times, and he struck me out both times. But, I mean, it was, again, it was really just really an awesome experience to get to face him. And uh, coolest to face... Uh, I mean, probably maybe Adam Wainwright because it was that was at a a day game at Wrigley Field and he was starting and uh, it was just it was awesome to get the start and play at Wrigley Field and Adam Wainwright obviously is an, an amazing arm so I mean it was it was awesome to go out there and take some good swings against him. With the Cubs, you played with tons of players and MLB All Stars like Anthony Rizzo, uh, our Somerset Patriots, Brian Lahare, mm -hmm. uh, Alfonso Soriano, Starling Castro. What's it like to be in the same clubhouse as these guys who kids like me idol? Yeah, I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty unreal, man. I mean it's really it was awesome to get to play with Alfonso Soriano. He's a great guy, really professional and. Uh, treated everyone as an equal and he was just a really good overall dude and then there was the younger guys like Starlin Castro and Anthony Rizzo who I also came up with in the minors and I actually played with Anthony Rizzo when we were 16 coming up before we graduated high school too so uh, it was cool to see those guys develop into all-star players and uh, it was it was really fun to play with them as well.
You're currently in your ninth year of professional baseball, and you've played at the highest levels in the world. Can you tell me what has been the best moment of your career? Um, yeah, probably, uh, I'd say probably getting that, that first hit at, at the Petco Park was probably the best. My parents were there in attendance, and uh, it, was, it was really fun that everyone got to be there that was close to me, and my close family and friends were all there, and uh, I got to come through for them and get the pinch hit, pinch hit double, and uh, that's probably one of the coolest I can remember. But there's obviously countless awesome memories I've had on the baseball field, but that being just the one that comes to mind first. All right, thanks so much. I'm Eli Fishman with Josh Vitters, out.